everyone. I'm Annette Gozan Valdez. I'm the president of GMA Films. I'm also the programming consultant of the chairman CEO of GMA Network. And I'm a board member also of GMA. Uh, we have had some um, projects already in pre-production and production stage, but because of this pandemic, we had to put this to a halt. Uh, but slowly, since the um, protocols have been relaxed a bit, we are already exploring to resume shooting by early next year. Um, actually, we've already had experience because of uh, some dramas that we're shooting for GMA. So, uh, we have a set of protocols already and, for example, lock-in tapings, mm -hmm. right? and then um, all the precautions that are necessary to protect the health and safety of all those involved, right? the artists, the production staff, everyone involved. Um, so all these have to be taken into account right? when we're going to start producing again the films next year. Um, but, you know, luckily, ha, the Filipino creatives are very, very good. Madaling, magaling mag-create, magaling mag-innovate, magaling mag-adjust. So I'm very hopeful and positive on the future of uh, films and movie making in the Philippines. Actually, um, during that time, we really, we were operational at that uh, point, but a lot of shows had to stop. So, of course, uh, every, every company was hit also, diba? the ad spend was um, cut drastically during the early start of the pandemic. Um, what I know is that we extended um, assistance, financial assistance, to those who had to stop working for a while and as soon as the protocols were given and we were able to start again with the shows, uh, I think we've rehired almost all of the workers already and at least, you know, um, there was comfort naman in the thought that it wasn't forever, di ba? Nung nag-stop talaga for the pandemic, we were just waiting for the time when the rules were to be relaxed. Kasi talagang bawal, di ba? During the first few months, talagang no, no tapings, no shootings, only yung essential lang, like news, uh, yun lang yung mga allowed. So, yun, I think now we're almost back to normal. So it was maybe six months lang na medyo nangangapa, na not full force. But uh, I think the future is good because we've already adjusted to what is required of us during this pandemic. Kasi naman, ang foremost is also the safety and health of the people involved, diba? So it was really a, a balancing act. But yun nga, um, given what has happened, I'm very hopeful for the future. I think one of the good things that happened is the um, other platforms wherein filmmakers can go to, not necessarily just theatrical release. Um, I'm sure you know, diba? it's very hard making movies. It's very hard to be in theaters for a long time, lalo na you're competing with Hollywood movies. So if your movie doesn't, um, doesn't make, doesn't, become a hit in the first few days, minsan wala ka na sa theaters. Because of course, it's a business ano rin eh, for the theaters. It's a business call, di ba? But during the pandemic, di ba, a lot of these films before were placed in Netflix and other platforms and nag the number one. So parang those who were not able to appreciate these films in the theaters were able to appreciate them now. So, Siguro, lalawak rin yung appreciation ng Filipino audience for all Filipino films, di ba? Parang, just because siguro it's not a big uh, movie star in the Philippines, yung artista, 
baka ngayon, because you know, the content is really good, the story is really good, the production is really good, and they saw it now. Di ba, nag-opportunity sa Netflix and other platforms. So, I think maganda, it, it's a positive thing for Filipino filmmakers, di ba? Parang, ngayon, finally, na-appreciate. Kasi hindi na panood before, mabilis lang sa theaters, na parang, ay, hindi masyadong kumita yung film. Pero, in Netflix, ang daming nanood and nagustuhan nila. So, parang, di ba, that's also gratifying for filmmakers yeah. na na-appreciate yung ginawa mo. And, I'm very hopeful na because of that, once bumalik na sa theaters, yung mga tao, they will look for these types of films. Hindi na yung before na parang, ay, gusto ko lang itong artista na to. Ay, gusto ko lang pag ganito. Ngayon, nakita nila maganda. Magaganda, magaling talaga ang Filipino gumawa ng films. Whether it's a big studio or an independent filmmaker or a small studio, magaling. I think, ano eh, kasi pag filmmaker ka, you're part of a family. You're part of, parang nagtutulungan talaga because you, you have one goal. is to really, to keep on producing films, quality films, to encourage new blood, to encourage creativity, to encourage people to really just churn out very good films. Yung mga ano nila, di ba? May mga um, dream concepts, yung mga tao, even if starting pa lang, mga students, di ba? They're already encouraged because they see the filmmakers who are really passionate about their work. And I think the Film Academy of the Philippines really supports itong drive na to, yung passion for filmmaking. It's not, mahirap kasi sabihin na filmmaking is a business. It's not, it's a passion, di ba? So, it's an art. So, you have to balance it. Siyempre, di ba? You have, di naman pwedeng, you can't keep on making films kung wala ka namang funding, di ba? So, pero, yon, I think the Film Academy of the Philippines have been able to really support the small filmmakers, even the big filmmakers, kasi nga, we're all one family with one goal. Well, my vision for GMA Pictures First is, you know, to start producing films early next year, to keep on producing films, to encourage new filmmakers, new blood, um, and for the Philippines as a whole, no, for the, the film industry, my vision is, sana we can really compete in the global market, given the, the platforms available now. Um, even if some other countries, the, the filmmakers there, have bigger budgets, I think we have more creativity than them, diba? because we're able to work around this. And it's really the creative spirit of the Filipinos. Magaling. They they can. Um, they're very innovative. They're very. Yun, they're very creative, whether in concepts, whether in how they create their films, and even in the budget. <laughs> diba? That's what you they need. Find a way. Yes, and I really believe that we can compete in the global market. I'm JB Ramos. I'm Jun Garland. Musical director kami. Yeah. Sa movie. <laughs> Dati, yung mga luma. <laughs>
Lalo na yung mga studio ng araw, medyo ang gamit medyo luma na, di ba? Pagka inilapat mo, hindi ganun ka... Kaga, uh, kaganda. Uh, well, comparing now, na, comparing na talagang, talagang medyo o, bongga na yung bahay, mga sound. Oo, so, oh. di ba? Mamimix mo na ng maayos. Sa akong bagay. At saka no, siguro hindi ko naman sa nila lahat, no? Pero palagay ko, pagka medyo wala kang panglangis dun sa nag o o p ng o Hindi, walang biro. Ano to? May tao lang kaya na ano. Well, hindi ko naman niisip yun, pero palagay ko may ganun. Kasi meron akong mga napapanood na lumang pelikula. Pati ko naman sa akin. Pati ko naman sa akin. Pati ko naman sa akin. So iba, 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 iba noon talaga. Iba noon talaga. <laughs> Uh, ang ginagawa kasi namin, since kami naman noong kabataan namin, meron na rin kaming studio sa bahay. Mm -hmm. So ang ginagawa talaga namin, bago namin dalhin sa studio para ilapat yon sa ginagawa musika, sa ginagawa namin yun na isa-isa. Tapos uh, parang ganun na rin ngayon. Kaya lang, uh, ngayon kasi is, uh, maganda na yung digital ni eh. Noon talaga mahirap. Analog, Analog talaga is mahirap pa noon. Pero ngayon ang bilis na nilang gumawa. Sa, ah, saril. saril at saka sa kaset pa nga kami eh. Tapos pinapa ko sa ano. Saril muna bago sa ano. Sa kaset. Tapos pagdating ko sa studio na pag-aano ng pelikula, ire-record na nila ulit yung sa ano, sa saril nila. Oo, ililipat pa. Ililipat Kaya pa. siguro na 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 less na yung sound talaga na maganda. Oh, Kahit na i-mix mo na ng maganda sa bahay, mm -hmm. pagdating sa ano, ililipat-lipat yun eh. So, nababawas na yung quality. Mm -hmm. Oh well, sabi ko kasi, nag-usap kami, sabi ko, kailangan gumawa tayo, tayo ng paraan para makasabay tayo. So, ang ginawa nga namin, uh, uh, umaaten kami ng mga seminar sa, uh, sa Film Academy. <laughs> Kasi marami talagang mga seminars ang Film Academy para sa musical scoring before. Digital na yun. Digital na yun. Mm -hmm. So nag-aral kami talaga ng mga ano. Ayan si Jopper kasama si namin. Si Bunso, yun. si Jopper Hill. Mm -hmm. Ayan. Five years old pa lang. Five years old pa lang kasama na namin sa pagsiseminar. <laughs> sa mga musical score. <laughs> Nahilig din siya. At saka siya pa kasi paliba sa bata. Mabilis siyang pumikap mm -hmm. ng computer kasi may computer na siya eh. Sa, sa time niya sa school may computer, eh kami wala. So kami ngayon yung, anak pa paano ba ito? Anak, asaan ba ito? Al aling ba ang dapat dito? Yun ang nangyayari. Kaya kami naman natuto. Kasi hindi kami pwedeng magpabaya. Di ba? Nasa industry tayo, hindi pwedeng. Kaya naman siguro hanggang ngayon, kahit pa paano, nandito pa rin kami. Oo. Yung kay Robin Padilla, pinaka-big um, uh, ano namin na nagawa, yung Manila Boy. 100 chapters yun? Mm -mm, parang 100 chapters. Yung mga panahon na yun. No, pinag uh, ano namin <laughs> pinag na may kit, tapos kami rin ang gumawa ng theme song, composer, arranger. Tapos performer din kami. Oh, performer oh. Oh. <laughs> Singer, uh, pianist siya, all around siya. Actually, marami siyang instrumento yun naman. Para sa akin, pare-pareho lang eh. Oo, kasi pag, ini sa mood, oh, eh. pag inilagay mo sa puso mo kasi, mm -hmm. walang mahirap eh. Mm -hmm. Since nandun ka sa wala ginagawa, rin oh, wala ring madali. Di ba rin? Kasi <laughs> pag, pag nasa puso mo yung ginagawa mo, yes. ma mapapadali yung ginagawa dahil mm -hmm. nasa puso mo eh. Di ba? Pero kung hin, iisipin mo na mahirap, parang mas mahirap isod yung mahirap eh. <laughs> Gawin na lang natin, padaliin na lang natin eh. Ganun. Kasi since music yung pinag-uusapan natin. Ang ginawa namin, anak, ano kaya? Mag-live tayo kasi maraming nagla-live <laughs> on FB. So isang paraan nyo na ma-release mo din yung, yung nararamdaman mong sa totoo lang may takot. May takot dahil paano na buhay namin sa music lang kami umaasa. So ang nangyari, nag-live kami, then... Parang yung mga friend namin na nakakamiss sa amin, alam mo yon yung kahit hindi ko humingi na tulong, tumutulong sila. Di ba? Ayak to na ako. Ayaw ko umiyak. Yung mga kaibigan namin, 36 years na hindi ka magkita. Nandahil sa FB, 
nakita ko na. Tapos nakita ko sa Manila, ang balik nila, o doon tutulungan namin kayo. Ganun namin. Ganun. Oh, marami, maraming tumutulong sa amin at yeah. napaka-thankful namin. Apa, para sa pananaw ko, sana, kasi aminin na natin na uh, katulad namin na talagang medyo, kumbaga, nasa time na kami nung medyo magagal na kami. Sana naman, yung mga new generation na may mga talagang magaganda ang mga pananaw din nila, sana mabigyan ng break at sana yun ang magpayabong ng gusto sa, ano, sa, okay. sa industriya. Kasi, um, Marami kasi sa amin, sa, sa, sa time namin na medyo hindi na nakakasunod. Doon sa, oh. sa digital ano ngayon, mm -hmm. lalo na sa, sa scoring, sa, sa musical scoring ng mga pelikula natin. So parang para sa akin, sana mag-unite, mag, mag magsama-sama yung mga, mga kabataan na may mga magagandang pananaw tungkol sa musika. Doon sana, siguro... Sa tingin ko, uh, mas maganda yung magiging o uh, resulta nun. Kasi kami kasi, yung, yung sa medyo tanggapin na natin yung mga luma. Oo, <laughs> kasi ako talagang tinatanggap namin na luma. Yung medyo luma kami. Pero hindi kami nagpapabaya. Kaya lang, sa amin, uh, yung mga new generation ngayon na sana magbigyan ng break ng gusto. Hi, I'm Manny Morfe. I'm a production designer for the uh, movie and television industry. Alay? <laughs> <laughs> well, I started uh, in 1979, 1980 mm -hmm. as a set decorator for television. Oh. Oh, and then, parang, I worked for years under television and designation set decorator until I was offered a production design job by the then Armida Sigyan Reina. For which project? Uh, uh, Pag-ibig na walang dangal under uh, Bancom Audiovision. Because uh, prior to that offer, I was working para sa Aawitang Kita Production as their set decorator also. Uh, in which I owe, I think I owe my, uh, uh, well, this job sa kanya because uh, at history, uh, accidentally I was doing some works for BBC2 uh -huh. and then she accidentally entered the studio kung saan nakalagay yung aming set up. And I was doing then uh, 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 itong parang fantasy para sa mga bata uh, ngayon, ang, ang setup namin was Japanese uh -huh. na, na natuwa siya, tuwang tuwa siya nagandahan siya sa, sa set I think she remembered my name uh -huh. and then nung mabakante yung kanyang uh, trabaho ng kanyang production designer sa AOE time I think, I don't know how but ako yung nakuha nila uh -huh. that was the start of my career Actually, wala muna eh. Nagbe-brainstorm kami ng mga separang, yung the key people sa production, uh, nagbibigay ng uh, uh, ng konting lecture yung director kung anong look ang gusto niya. Pinag-uusapan namin kung ito ba ay eh, ganung kulay, ito ba ay eh, mat matingkad, ito ba yung subtle, things like that. And then, uh, yung attack ng setup, dun manggagaling, dun ako mag-start on my own. Hindi naman nila ako tinuturuan kung papano, basta uh, gagawin ko uh, yung dalarapat gawin para doon sa eksena. And luckily, I'm so happy up to now, they trust me on my creativeness towards the given script or given project. And then, magbibigay siya ng kanyang um, kung ano yung gusto niya pag-usapan namin, kung ano yung gusto namin palabasin visually, things like that. And then, uh, pagka inatake mo na siya sa actual, hindi ka naman nila pinakikilama, hinahaya ang kanila. Doon ako tuwanto because they, siguro they trusted my creativeness. Kaya uh, yung flow ng trabaho ko from that, sa mga times na yun, tuloy-tuloy talaga siya. Tapos ang isang pinakamalaking uh, 
siguro, I, I will call it uh, luck or success, uh, I was then working for Viva Films. Sinuportahan talaga nila ako sa mga sa gastos. Nasabay din ako that they were building Viva Films through uh, visual. Yun ang atake nila sa mga projects nila noong araw. Yung ekang sabi ni Mina Aragon, that, yung nasirang Mina Aragon, asawa ni Vic, no, partner ni Vic de Rosario at that time, ibigay natin sa mga manunood yung mga lugar na gusto nilang makita na hindi nila napupuntahan, yung mga bagay na hindi nila nasusuot ang gagamit, ibigay natin sa kanila true visual sa mga pelikula natin. So, sa budgeting talaga ng araw, honestly, maraming salamat sa Viva. Because parang sa expression ko ng aking trabaho, malaking, malaking role ang budget eh. Kung walang budget, hindi mo magagawa yung gusto mo. <laughs> Kaya yun, honestly, kinaiigitan ako ng maraming kaibigan kong TV. Nako, eh, hindi ka naman daw kayo si Manny Mortes, hindi kayo bibigyan ng malaking budget. <laughs> They always, uh, uh, bibibiro nila ako parating ganyan. I think, wala naman, wala. Ganon. Ang sinabi lang sa akin that, uh, na sa towards that kind of question, yung money, baka sa pamimili mo, pwede bang wag ka nang bumili doon sa tindahan na yon or wag sa lugar na yon Hindi ko na i-mention. Uh, 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 Kung baga, mahal doon eh. Sabi uh, uh, ganon. Uh, 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 eh, pero sinagot ko naman, pero andun po yung magagandang napupuri ninyo. Uh, uh, sinabi ko yun. Ayun ang sagot ko. Gusto ko man pong magtipid, pero yung mga uh, pinupurin yung mga damit, mga gamit, mga uh, dekorasyon sa tape, sa shooting, doon ko nakukuha. Wala doon sa iba. Oh. And they just let you be. Oo, oh, oh, they just let you be. Makikipo, bibil, uh, kumbaga, tatanggapin nila yung rason. Yes, oo, oh, oh, tatanggapin nila yung rason. At saka nakikita naman nila, plus the fact that yung mga bagay na pinagkakagastahan ko, pinakita ko din na somehow nagagamit ko ulit siya in other projects. I know which uh, items that can be used uh, in the future. It can be used. Oh, oh. You can, oh, oh. Kung baga sabi ko, magagamit ulit natin yan for sure, sabi ko. Kung baga para lang pong investment. Nung araw kasi, pag namili ako ng isang bagay, coordinated siya sa set nakuha ninyo ba yun? Point up, for example, ang damit, na ilaline up ko yan prior to a shoot, kung ang, sa isang eksena kukunan bukas, limang artista, naka-production design ang suit nila in terms of color, prints, design, and everything. Mm -hmm. Kung baga, namamanage ko siya pre-arrange. Ngayon, medyo, hindi mo magagawa kagaya ng dati, bahala ka na lang by chance kung mag-meet yung color scheming, yung look, yung genre, or something. So, medyo may hirap, may challenge. Pero somehow, yung negativity na yun, ginawa kong positive. Sige, kaya natin yan. So, magdadala ka ng sarili mong mga gamit na hindi mabibili ng producer or hindi mo gagamitin ito. Kung baga, nasa sa yung choice, sa yung creativity, kung ano yung dapat mong gamitin sa hindi. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, Anuhin mo talaga siya. So, pero so, lumalabas, sa trabaho, mas mahilap siya. Ngayon? Ngayon. Kasi gagawan mo ng paraan. Mm -hmm. Nung araw, nasaya ka, may hawak ang pera, parang nabibili mo kaagad yung gusto mo. Madali yung pag-partner-partner, pa pagbabalanse mo ng uh, creative elements. Bakit kaya sa tingin mo naging ganon? From that to now? Budget. Financial budget. Talaga ka at ang mga producer, siyempre, lumaki ang mga uh, taxes, things like that, cost of production. So, nagbawas sila ng budget on other matters na which they think, uh, para sa kanila, hindi ganun ka-importante. Pero since ako, e eh, production, nasanay ako, so parang dumating sa sarili ko na, sige na, uh, gawin ko pa rin yung gusto kong gawin, kahit na maggaling sa akin yung ibang bagay. Oh. Okay, right? okay. Or, andun din yung challenge na bumili ka ng mas mura 
para ma magamit mo yung portion of that budget to the next item na bibili mo. Uh -huh. Pero nung araw talaga, parang uh, in buying things, costumes, props, uh, last, ano ko yung priority ko yung uh, amount. Ang aking priority is to procure, to produce what is needed, what is really needed. Ngayon, nag-iisip ka na, dapat pa ba ito? Pwede ko bang hatiin ito? Or things like that. So, prior uh, to anything that you are going to create, meron kang isang elemento ng process, ng process, na iisipin, na idadagdag sa utak mo. Sa pangyayari na yan, between being so free and being so restricted, sa tingin mo ba, nag-suffer ang creativity mo? Ikaw lang, personally. Yes. Oo, kasi yung lalo na sa aking style of production design, masyado siyang, uh, sa iba hindi lang gusto yung masyadong aral. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. But that's how I made my, my name. Uh -oh. Yun ang gusto nila. Kung baga parang, nung araw pangit na sabihin natin sa panahon ni Imelda Marcos, the true, the good, and the beautiful or something, kahit na hindi naman yun ang totoo. But we, I, we follow that in Viva. Kaya maganda lumalabas ng araw. Nowadays, pagandahin mo, bigay mo pa rin yung gusto na hinahanap ng manunood sa ganitong budget. So, meaning, ang creativity mo, huwag mong ilesen yung, yung design, but yung costing. So, yun. But sa akin, ginawa ko nga siyang positive. It was a very good challenge. Okay. Kasi ang creativity mo should not suffer. Well, siguro yung, uh, yung movements. Dati, uh, para kung mamimili ka ng gamit, you go anywhere, madali. Magpunta ka ng divisorya, maghapon ka doon. Now, hindi ka makapunta because niisip mo yung social distancing. Plus, alam mo, crowded yung area na yun. Kahit nga dapitan market lang, crowded siya. So, things like that. Yan ang number one, iisipin mo. Plus, syempre, si Chura ko. Ano na ako, senior. So, number one, isipin ko yung health. Papasok mo yung social distancing. So, medyo nagkaroon ng konting uh, sabihin natin, uh, hindi ka na muna nila ihahire because of your age. Because of that, I think so. So, uh, what I'm telling now is, I am jobless. <laughs> <laughs> so, tingin mo ba, discrimination yon? No, no. It's not discrimination. But sayang yung opportunity. Uh -huh. Because I was, as I was uh, getting older, sinabi ko sa akin, sorry, I don't want to be, um, uh, yung, yung wala kong ginagawa sa maghapon. Uh -huh. o, ayoko maging ganun tao na nakatenga ka lang or something. So, luckily naman, may nagagawa ako kahit pa paano. Well, siguro naging aware sila sa mga, sa mga norms, sa mga, uh, mga bagay para kung paano nila i-perform uh, yung trabaho nila professionally. Uh, kasi nung araw, uh, masaya ang industry, kaya lang madami ding uh, sabihin natin merong mga gumagawa ng mga hindi maganda. Pero nung matayo ang in, uh, film uh, academy, nagkaroon ng konting professionalism among the workers. Nagkaroon ng mas, uh, mas unified ng araw. Anong nung nga sa, magbuhat ang ito yung tayo, up to now. Help one another. Uh, in all aspect of production. Kumbaga, uh, andun pa rin yung uh, we compete do sa finished product, but doon sa paggawa mo ng technical things, yung preparation, uh, what you have, share it with the rest. Huwag kang maging selfish. Uh, sooner or later, baka mawawala ka na rin. Kung meron kang talent na nandun sa iyo, i-share mo na this habang you have the time. Uh, parang gano'n. So ngayon, dito sa panahon na to, you share what you have. Uh, kasi, uh, ang mobility ngayon ng tao in order to get something for the industry medyo limited. Uh, lim limited.
But if you are helpful, uh, kahit na hindi hinihingi sa'yo, narinig mo, i-offer mo, I think that would be a very big help. And, and, and through that, alam mong mag, uh, magtutuloy-tuloy pa yung takto ng industry. I'm Annette Gozal Valdez. Hi, I'm June. Hi, Jay. Hi, I'm Manny Morfe. Welcome, Welcome to the third annual Film Academy I can have it by anyone.